Welcome back guys, thanks for joining us again. Yeah, thank you. We are now in week two of our Northern Territory adventures and we are situated in a lovely little oasis called Tumbling Waters. Yep, um, and yeah, before we get started with this one, we just wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone who's jumped on board lately. Unreal. Mate, yeah. Love it, epic We're, little community, you guys rock. Yeah, so thank you so much. Yeah. We appreciate it. It's so good. Yep. So yeah, this is a, uh, what? kind of central here isn't it we yeah. can go up to darwin which we plan on doing we also want to head out west and check out dundee beach because we've heard good things yep and we're sort of basing ourselves here we might go visit berry springs as well so yep it's that's of... just down the road yep. um and i also want to head inland or east a little bit because he's I... chasing his jabberoo still yeah but also want to see our first northern territory croc. oh yes we haven't seen a croc yet so we're hunting crocs adelaide river might be the go for that yep, yep. so we've got some plans come along for the ride it's going to be sweet fun yep <laughs> All right, we're day tripping out to Dundee Beach today. We heard it's worth a look. It's out the west side. We can see blue ocean, but it's also super soft. So we're going to air down and hit the tracks that way. Hopefully it's cool. in the four-wheel drive tracks heading down I, head, I guess we're heading south from Dundee Beach towards a place called Stingray Head which we've been told to check out it's also a potential place to camp so if it's nice we might come back with a van otherwise we're just going to day trip it and always love airing down locking the hubs and hitting the tracks this is part of the fun Pulled up at a place called Stingray Head, um, not too far from Darwin, and we found like the most perfect tiny waves. We've got the longboards on the roof, and we haven't surfed in like a couple of months. But it's just notoriously crocky here, so it's kind of like you want it, but you can't have it. You're seeing these perfect little longboarding waves, but they're just probably off limits. Just have to mind surf them. You just have to mind surf them. How do you feel about those waves? I don't see those waves. I do not see those waves. <laughs> that would be so much fun on the longboard. All the way, all the way down there. Pull me under, pull me close. Take us further to the unknown. Deep or Always wanted to see a jabberoo for some reason. I just reckon they sound cool and look epic. And we've just pulled up on this back track way back from the coast. And there's a tiny little pond of water and there's a bloody jabberoo standing there. And by the time we got the camera gear out of the car and set up the big lens and walked down, he just flew off. So we got like the last few seconds of him flying away, like probably filmed really, really badly. But bloody heck we saw a jabberoo and it was absolutely incredible kind of looks like a big tall skinny pelican with like a black head and red legs and he's just totally flying over the horizon and he's we we've left so much space we like thought we were creeping up on him but he was on to us and he buggered off but damn tick the box kind of but um oh i gotta get another one now okay so we've come up to get off stingray head and there are some people that are really bogged and we have to snatch them out. So we're gonna go do that right now. All right, we've just um, come across these guys on the track and they've just got stuck with their off-road van down this soft, really soft track, but it's downhill. So we're just gonna give them a little yank out in reverse and hopefully we can get them off the boggy stuff so we can keep going the way we're trying to go. But here we go. Might give it a bit more of a yank. <laughs> All right, 
so we've got them out of the first bit <laughs> but now they have to kind of get back up the hill that they were stuck on just to get out of here so we're going to turn around and they're going to try and fang it and drag their van behind us and if they get stuck we'll snatch them again time will tell Oh, they made it. If they get stuck again, we're there for another tug, but I reckon they're going to be sweet. So, just a bit of fun for the day. Here we are without our van, and we're towing people out with vans. But it's good. up a super fun day mission to the beach stingray head and dundee beach which were recommended to us by some super cool people so we went out there the ocean was beautiful we even saw some waves which like we could possibly surf but definitely wouldn't and then what else a little four-wheel drive rescue shannon saw a jabberoo chips on the beach and a sunset doesn't get much better than that sleeping this morning but we we're at Berry Springs and we're about to get wet. Who's excited about that? <gasps> Me. 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 We just got to Berry Springs and there's like a million people here ready for action. We're at Berry Springs. How's it looking? Busy. Is the water warm? The water is nice and warm. Oh, look, there's fishies. Found a warm patch. <laughs> Did you make it warm? <laughs> no. <laughs> These two have found fish to follow, so they're just, they'll be underwater the whole time. The fishies, yeah. Well, that was Berry Springs and it was pretty good but it opens at 8 o'clock in the morning so you can't just go there early and at 8 o'clock it's busy so that's kind of not really our scene but it was nice we had a dip we got refreshed and it's done and we just move on to the next adventure all right one of my goals for this trip was to photograph or video a jabiru in the wild and we got really close the other day we actually did find one and we did get some shots of it we snuck up on it and it flew away by the time i got my camera ready so we're at some wetlands today haven't seen one yet but it's got to be a good spot for them there is so much bird life i'm not really a bird photographer but i just think the jabiru is like the coolest looking creature so we're gonna just get some shots here and move along this little area and hopefully i don't know if we get super lucky we'll find some Super stoked, finally found a Jabiru. We did a U-turn up the back, came all the way back down, and this area that we were at before, where there were no Jabiru's, there is one just cruising way deep back here amongst all these birds. So I've managed to get a few shots and we're just gonna hang around and see if I can get a few more of him. But man, what a cool creature, they look unreal.
was amazing. So much bird life in the wetlands and we finally got that jabberoo shot that we've been chasing for so long. So now I'm pumped, camera can go away and we can head back to camp and have some lunch. All right, so we just crossed over the Adelaide River and had my head out the window and I saw a massive croc swing underneath the bridge. So Shannon's just gone to the back of the car to grab the drone and we're gonna pop it up and see if it was a croc and I wasn't just seeing stuff. And um, yeah, check him a out. It was a croc. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a croc. It was, yeah, could be our first saltwater croc in the NT. Woo all right, time to send up the bird. Oh man, yep. Definitely crocs down here. I can see a couple already. There's one in the water and there's another one further up on the bank. Oh, and there's another one there. Man, those crocs were absolutely crazy. Can't believe we got to see that. So NT definitely living up to its name. It is a bloody croc fest out here. All right, so that brings us to the end of another episode and that was our second week in the NT. Yep, it's been bloody awesome. It's been totally like unexpected. Yep. Yeah, we, we spend so much of our lives in and around the ocean. So to be so far away from the ocean and to be around an ocean that we can't go in, I was, you know, a bit worried about how it would go, but I'm loving it. It's good, yeah. This this whole trip really was to force ourselves out of our comfort zone. We do all of our trips up the coast of WA um, and it's always salt water, it's surfing and things like that. And then we just got trapped in that yeah. habit of doing the same trips every year, which are great, but we wanted to see other parts of Australia and we just felt that if we didn't force ourselves to do it, we would never do it. Yeah. So here we are, we're in the Northern Territory, we're doing things we would have never thought we'd ever do. No, we've become obsessed with like crocodiles and birds and <laughs> yeah. yeah. Swamps and billabongs and wetlands <laughs> and stuff that we yeah. never thought we'd be interested yeah. in and we're just having such a good time yeah. um, checking out all these different places and yeah. you know, some days it, it is seems so strange to be going off doing the activities that we've been doing like honestly if you asked me a year ago if I wanted to do that I'd be like no thanks I just want to go for a surf <laughs> but here we are and we're in the middle of nowhere and we're looking for just different types of things and it's such a nice feeling to enjoy something so different yeah yeah so, so yeah. I've been loving that so yeah this part of the NT has been absolutely incredible we've seen some cool crocodiles um, the wetlands have been mind-blowing and just all the nature stuff has just been unreal. Yep. Um, we've got some cool stuff coming up in the next week or so. We are heading to Litchfield National Park, which everyone's raving about. There are some epic gorges and waterfalls out there that we can't wait to get in amongst. Yeah, um, I guess, and next we're kind of heading a little bit north and a little bit east. We've been given like some inside inside information about where like the highest density of saltwater crocs live. Yep. So we're gonna go We've Check got something, and we've got something really cool planned. We've yeah. got a big surprise for the girls, which hopefully will be the next episode, and that is to do with um, that area out there that Jade just referred to, where there are heaps of crocs, heaps of cool stuff to see. We've, we're not, we don't really do the big tourist things, but this time we might have just something up our sleeve. Yeah, we do. So, um, so can't wait for that. So stay tuned, and we just want to say thanks again, everyone, for jumping on board, and we love hearing from you. We love the messages. You guys are amazing. Yeah, we but really a, appreciate all your yeah. comments and all the kind things that you have to say. It's blowing my mind <laughs> yeah real positive bunch of friends we've made out there now yep, and um totally. it's awesome so if you guys are loving it we'll just keep it coming yeah and um yeah looking forward to seeing you in that next one yeah see you soon stay tuned see you soon bye